Welcome to Lanyap, a program about events, issues, and people. I'm Corey Crow. I'm joined today by Judy Bennett. She's the acting president of the Monroe Symphony. Judy, thanks for being with us today on Lanyap. Thank you, Corey. I'm glad to be here. Well, you've got a big event coming up this weekend, and it kicks off a season of great music. It does. We have our season opener this Saturday. It'll be at 7 o'clock at the Church of the Redeemer in West Monroe. And we're looking forward to it. We've got a bright, uh, young violist who will be performing. And our conductor for the season, Philip Mann, will also be making his debut. So you're um, doing uh, s- something uh, kind of fun, Hungarian <laughs> folk songs. It's a Hungarian Rhapsody a Hungarian, is the name of the concert. That's correct. It's a Hungarian Rhapsody. And this was selected by Elias Goldstein, who is our um, internationally famous violist. And um, Rhapsody, a Hungarian Rhapsody, basically goes back to traditions of folk songs, Eastern European folk music. So he'll be playing a little bit of Bartok. It's a Rhapsody one. Um, He'll be playing uh, Paganini, the Grand Sonata for viola. So all of this will showcase his talents on the viola as well as our orchestras. And those are a lot of really well-known classical pieces that uh, folks may not know those names, but I tell you, when you hear the music, you're going to know you're going to know those songs. You're going to know the songs, and if you don't know the songs, it doesn't even matter. We want you to come anyway and experience this live concert. Um, it's our season opener, and I think that if if you're not a classical music fan once you're there and you're sitting in the seat and the music just begins to penetrate the auditorium you're going to fall in love you're going to love the music you will love the musicians and um, our guests for the season you're doing this uh, in West Monroe in that big octagonal church, Church of the Redeemer. That's it's right. a it's a great place uh, to watch a symphony concert. It's a fabulous place. It's got about twenty five hundred seats, Corey, and we are just asking everybody to come fill the um, auditorium this concert. And we may make this a tradition every year, depending on how well this does the first time, but. We are providing this absolutely free. So this concert is um, for everybody in the community to enjoy, to come, to be a part of. Get them in there. Get them hooked on classical music. That's right. Get them in there and get them hooked. That's the goal. We're uh, talking with uh, Judy Bennett uh, with the Monroe Symphony. You guys have a a season conductor uh, this time. Yes. Tell me about Philip Mann. I met him a, a few years ago. He came in as a guest conductor for one concert and you guys said that's our guy for this season oh philip is fabulous and i um i love classical music but i don't know much about the world of classical music and philip is just one of these bright stars he's been all over the world um philip is a Rhodes scholar and you know once you do something like that you're they they whisk you off to United Kingdom, and there he gets to perform and be coached by some of the best, um, uh, in some of the best orchestras world over, and by some of the um, fabulous conductors who can teach him the skills that they've learned for a lifetime. So um, Philip has won numerous awards, but the thing I love the most about him, he is down to earth, he's relatable, he's warm, he's funny. Um, he And he loves meeting new people. So he's not that conductor that you're going to see go up there. Now he is going to be energetic. He is very passionate. Um, one of the quotes that he shared with me that I absolutely love is that he says he's bullish about classical music. So that gives you a little taste of what he's like in person. The um, event is coming up Saturday night. You're doing a sort of a pre-event called Meet the Maestro. Tell me about, about that one. We are. Well, the Monroe Symphony Organization wants everyone to be a part of this. We, are, we feel we're rebuilding the symphony. Um, you know, COVID, as it did with a lot of not-for-profits and small businesses, really knocked it out of the park. Um, 
And so we want to make sure that we reintroduce, reintroduce uh, the community to classical music. We've got Philip coming in for the special event at the Country Club, Bayou Desired Country Club. And we want everybody to come and just stop by 5.30 p.m. and say hello, meet him, and get an idea of what we'll be introducing the season. We're uh, talking with Judy Bennett from the Monroe Symphony. Again, a Hungarian Rhapsody coming up on Saturday night. Now, this kicks off your upcoming season. Tell me what comes up next after the Hungarian concert. Okay. Um, after the Hungarian concert, we have got a smaller ensemble group that will meet November the 9th, and that's a Mozart and a Weber uh, production. It'll probably be strings. I'm not sure what other instrumentation will be used. And that'll be at the Biedenhorn Recital Hall right here on campus. And then you've got, uh, once you get through that, it's time for the Christmas season. It's the holiday season. Um, right now, we have that scheduled for December the 19th. That's a Tuesday. Um, we may end up changing that date, but for now, we're there. Tuesday might not be the best time to do a holiday concert, but the board and Philip are working on that. But we'll make sure we let uh, the community know way in advance before anything's changed. But Philip has great plans to make that a pops um, type of concert where the whole family can be involved. You follow that with a Firebird concert uh, with some very fiery music. And then my favorite of the year, it's uh, the big pops concert. Yes, and that'll be the finale, April the 27th. That's a surprise. We will let our listeners and the community know as soon as we um, roll that out and market that. And we're looking forward to uh, presenting that as our season finale. We're speaking with Judy Babb today. Judy, for folks to um, find out more about this concert, and you say it's free, you don't even need tickets. You don't even need tickets. If you have them, great, bring them. I know some of um, our members have been passing out paper tickets just as a welcome, just so you've got something in your hand to remember the date and where to go, but you don't even need tickets. Show up. We'll be happy to have you, um, usher you to your seat, and just sit back and get ready for a fabulous concert. It's a Hungarian Rhapsody at Church of the Redeemer this Saturday, October 14th, 7 p.m. Judy Bennett, our guest today on Lanyap. To find out more, you can visit mymso.org. You also can head to our website, kedm.org. And don't forget, Lanyap is available on all your favorite podcasting platforms.